In this presentation, we're going to look at CAD import. So I'm going to go to the file menu, import. Now there's lots of different CAD formats we can import. I'm going to use an IGs in this case. And I'm going to select the file I want to import. Now if we look at the geometry, this is a cable connector for a cable to a cable stage tower for a footbridge. Now at the moment they're green surfaces, but if I select everything, hit the volume button, I can turn it into a blue volume. Now it's a volume, I can mesh it. So attributes, mesh, volume. I'm going to change from hexahedral to tetrahedral. And I'm going to call these tets. OK, select the volume and drag on and assign the mesh. I'm going to go to the mesh layer, double click and switch on solid. And I'm going to put a grey render. Now if I rotate this model around, what you'll see is the mesh here around the circular part doesn't follow the geometry. It's got flat sides. And that's because at the moment I'm using linear elements. Now if I switch to the quadratic elements, the truly curved elements, the mesh will now follow the geometry exactly. So that completes the, the meshing of this model. Now I could go on and look at mesh refinement, but for this presentation I'm not going to worry. So let's have a look at the other engineering properties. Now I don't need geometry because it's a volume model, so materials, material library. I'm going to use a, a US steel and I'm going to define it and then assign it to the model. OK, for supports, I'm going to create a pin support, so fixed X, Y and Z. And that's I'm going to call pinned and I'm going to assign it to the small area here. So I'm just moving it so I can select the circular hole and I'm going to assign the supports to that location. So you can see the supports there. So it's as if I've got that fixed. Now I'm going to apply a load to this area as if the object's being pulled. So loading. Now the load I'm going to use here is a face load and in the Z direction minus 100. I'm going to call this face load and I'm going to assign it to this part of the circular hole. And there you can see the load pushing onto the hole. So it's as if it's being pulled in that direction. I'm going to save the model, solve the model. Now the model is solved, you can see that I've got a deformed shape. Now I'm just going to switch off the deformed shape. I'm going to switch off this solid render I put on earlier. And I can start to look at stresses. So contours, stress, and I'm going to use SE, von Mises stress. So now we're looking at the stresses on the outside of this object. But I might want to look at the stresses inside the object. And I can do that using a slice. So utilities, slice through 3D. And I'm going to drag a slice through the center of this object. If I rotate the model now, you'll see that I'm looking at the stresses actually inside the object. OK, I'm going to do some further slices on this object. So one through here, one through here. I'm now going to rotate the model around to create an isometric view. There we go. OK, I'm just now just going to modify the view slightly. I'm just going to rotate the model around. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to move the contour key. Just click on it and then drag it to the position you want it. OK, as well as looking at the stresses on the slice, if I go to the slice in the groups tree view, I can actually look at the resultant forces on the slice. So here we've got the beam equivalent forces over the slice itself. So you don't have to just work with stresses when you work with volume models. I can also work with forces. So that concludes this video on CAD imports and solid modelling.